Andre Bang, the Eagle, Line Eye from 1975. It's a lot of memories. Been to see the Eagles a great number of times over the years, but um, missed out on their uh, the Scottish Cup last year. I was going to go and uh, take the uh, the last of the um, Liverpool side tickets, the one particular Springside tickets, but. Um, I was going to go, and the person I was going to go with um, had to drop out at the last minute for a medical appointment, which was uh, a dental appointment anyway, which was had been waited and waited and waited for for quite a number of years, and uh, she didn't want to she didn't want to mess up on that. So uh, I didn't get to see the Eagles uh, last year. Um, there was a comment on one of the YouTube videos that was uploaded from the London gig. Um, Don Henry for coming out to see them over the last 50 years or so and just in case we don't pass this way again this is, uh, I thought they might not be in the UK again which would be a great shame because uh, they, they were superb live superb anyone who's um, interested in reading autobiography books um, Don, the Don Felder book is you just can't put down it's uh, superb a superb read I was talking about the Lord Stewart Shelley, which I've just finished. Um, another one which is well worth a read is the Graham Nash autobiography. It's uh, full of little stories and uh, all sorts of things. Hey, one thing about Rod Stewart's autobiography, one thing he doesn't mention in the book, which surprised me, was Python Lee Jackson. I don't know why, but um, it doesn't get a mention, so that's, uh, that's just a little snippet. Hey, talking about the Eagles, um, when I was very, very young, even before WMR was on the go, when I was very, very young, we used to have a, an eight-track machine in the uh, the house, a mains-driven eight-track machine. People had those cars as well in those days, in the um, what the early 70s, and we only had about three eight-tracks in the house. One was a 40 fantastic hits of the the 50s and 60s. One was Billy Connolly's solo concert, and the other was one of these notes by the Eagles. And this is an amazing story because um, it was nowadays. But uh, on the track, I think it was the end between track one and track two. Um, the member, I don't know if you're familiar with these tracks, if you remember them, anyone who remembers them, that there, there, there used to be a little gap, a click and it would jump track to uh, the second track. For stereo tracks, which um, gives the name eight tracks. And um, Vision started up on track one, and it faded out. There was a click, and... Uh, it came back on track two, halfway through the, uh, halfway through the track. I mean, who would put up with that in this day and age? Uh, but that's the way they worked then. It was quite unusual for a track to be split right enough on the um, on the eight tracks, but that's the way the Eagles one of these nights track was done. Um, one of these nights track for one of these nights album. Uh, 